What's up guys, Etienne here. Welcome back to my channel and I have a very special, the most special guest I've ever had on my channel, my mom. Hi mom. Hi you. So we're doing, during this quarantine, we, I figured I'd use um, my mom as my model. Why not, right? It's Mother's Day. I normally do my mom's uh, make hair and makeup for her birthdays, for Mother's Day, for everything, since I was like literally 12 or something. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about this look. I basically just gave her a beautiful brown smoky eye. That is what I love to do on my mom the most. And I usually love doing a nude lip, but my mom suggested otherwise, and we went for a beautiful bold red lip. Right? Porque te encanta los colores fuertes, ¿verdad? So I listened to my mom, and we did a red lip, and this was the final product. So yeah, who else better than my mom to do a Mother's Day video? She is the most important person in my life, and I know that no matter what, I could always count on my mom. I know she's always one call away and anything I need, she'll be there for me. And I celebrate my mom today and always because it's always, should always be Mother's Day. Mothers do everything for us. They cook, they clean, they raised us, they dealt with us. So I could only be, I'm so thankful for my mom. Before we jump into the look, um, Ma, ¿cuál, es, ¿cuál ha sido el mejor regalo del de, de Día de las Madres que, que te he dado yo? Oh. Ay. Han sido tantos, hijo. De hace tres años que me compraste mi casa. Yes, that was one of my proudest moments um, in my life. ¿Puedes contar un poquito de la carta que te, te di? Cuando él decidió venirse para Los Ángeles, 17 años tenía cuando se vino a estudiar. Fue algo triste, pero ten tenía que pasar así. Me dejó una carta después. Me dijo que en la carta me dice que estaba muy agradecido conmigo por todos los años que estuvo conmigo y que había llegado el momento de, de volar para perseguir sus sueños. En esa carta recuerdo que, que me dijo que su tranquilidad era que nosotros estuviéramos bien. Oh, now we're gonna cry, guys. Que él iba a estar bien si nosotros estábamos bien, sus hermanos y yo. Solo me dijo que que le pidiera a Dios que me que le fuera bien para poder poderme comprar una casa para que viviéramos sus hermanos y yo. Eso era su prioridad para él. Que nosotros tuviéramos un lugar estable y seguro. Y, y pues lo logró, lo logró. Ya tenemos tres años viviendo ahí. Yay. Ah. But yeah, guys, so now that we've gone all emotional and stuff, let's jump right into this look. First, we're gonna use Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer, and I'm just gonna use a drop of this, and I'm going to put it just right here where the pores are a little bit bigger, so just around the nose area. This really makes it look smooth and apply much smoother. All right, so when I do makeup, I have no rules. I always start with eyes and then I do complexion, but today we're gonna do it the other way around and we're gonna do my mom's complexion first. And as you guys may see, she has a little bit of melasma, which is, this could be hormonal, it could be from the sun, um, many different reasons. Using Dermacolor Concealer Palette that looks like this, 
we're gonna be taking the shade D31, which is a color correcting shade. And we wanna cancel out all the darkness, so I'm actually gonna use my fingers for this step. And I'm just gonna apply it right where she has dark spots. And then I'm gonna go in under the eye just a little bit. Just to cancel out any grayness or any darkness that's around the eyes. ¿Te acuerdas cuando empecé a maquillarte o no? Sí. ¿Cuándo? Desde... <coughs> ¿Cuántos años tenías, hijo? Uh, o sea, ¿no te acuerdas? No. So that is my color correcting. Uh, like I said, using the shade D31 from the Dermacolor palette. So for this look on my mom, we're gonna start highlighting contouring first. I'm using this Vanity Makeup Sculpt and Glow palette in the color Tan Trio. And it looks like this. It's a very deep shade of brown. It has um, quite a bit of warmth in it. And I'm gonna use this Dose of Colors brush. This one's to set powder, it says, but you know, there's no rose in makeup, so. I'm just gonna go straight for it. I'm gonna start contouring. Giving an illusion, we're already creating an illusion that there's a much more pronounced cheekbone. We're gonna do it on the jawline to minimize any areas that you wanna shut down a little. What I like about this product, guys, is um, how easy it blends and how smooth it goes on. It's not very thick, it just kind of glides right on. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. So you'll start to shape your face um, by the minute. We're gonna grab my girl Jade's brush uh, by Luxie, and it's a much tighter brush, but we're gonna get into the nose contouring. And I'm gonna go ahead and start shaping the sides of her nose. We're gonna cut at the tip to make the nose appear a little shorter. Una nariz nueva más? Sí. So you start to see how important placing the color is. Also the symmetry of it. You don't ever wanna give someone, you know, a crooked nose. <laughs> Now we're gonna start highlighting with Makeup Forever Concealer Palette. This also has little correctors, which I love, but I love this shade. And unfortunately, I don't know what the number is, but um, I'll find it and I'll put it in the description below. And with the flat concealer brush, I'm gonna go straight in to the product. And this is gonna be my highlight. So I'm gonna start pressing it in under her eye. And I'm gonna also highlight the inner corners of her nose just to minimize a little bit more. And I'm gonna bring it into her inner corner of her eye. And at the same time, using this highlight and concealer, I'm gonna start shaping her eye and bringing this upwards. I love this concealer. It's very creamy and very workable. So we're gonna go above the lip, a little under. We're gonna start defining her lips at the same time. We're gonna go 
going in the other eye. Just little padding motions. Start giving her that eye lift, that cat eye. I am gonna bring a little bit of highlight in the center of her forehead. Kind of like a small circle, but not too much. All right, so before we move on to foundation, we're gonna be using a beauty blender and just patting all the product in, making sure it's in place and it's settling beautifully. So you just wanna pat around those areas. You don't wanna rub it. You just wanna pat it and set it in place. Moving into foundation, we're gonna be using Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation, and this is more of a matte finish. So we're not gonna be using a lot of powder today. I'm gonna use this hourglass brush. Um, it's kind of just like a stippling brush. And I'm gonna start just pressing it in and over the contoured areas. This foundation is full coverage, but my mom likes um, a full coverage foundation because of her dark spots. Don't forget the ears, guys. ¿Cuál es tu favorito maquillaje que te ha hecho? La vez que de mi cumpleaños que nos fuimos a un bar. <laughs> <laughs> Ese, luego cuando me llevaste a ver a Ana Gabriel. We went to a concert. Mm -hmm. Ana Gabriel. Ana Gabriel. Ana Gabriel, sí. Bueno, han sido muchos. Lots of glams through the last 15 years, guys. Now we just wanna press on the foundation to finish it off. So oftentimes we lose a little bit of the contour with the foundation. So I'm just gonna take the brush that's already dipped in the dark contour color. I'm just gonna refine it a little bit more. Just creating that contour. Now we're gonna start setting my mom's face lightly with this Guerlain powder in the number two. And I poured a little bit of the powder on the lid. Using a powder puff, I'm just gonna go straight into it. I'm gonna get rid of a little bit on my hand and then just start setting it lightly, all right? Just to set everything in place. Especially the T-zone first. Huele bonito, huh? Sí. My mom is, loves this powder because it smells awesome. Sí. Huele muy bonito. With this milk brush, we're just going to dust off any excess powder. If there's any left over, just sweep it away. We're gonna do a little baking using Kylie Cosmetics in yellow. I'm just gonna get a little black sponge like this, the triangular sponge. I'm gonna dip it straight into the powder. I'm gonna go straight into it and dip it. I'm not gonna use too much powder just because I don't want my mom to have a cakey under eye. So I'm gonna lightly just do a few And exactly where you put your highlight, you wanna do your baking. In this case, under the eyes, into the sides of her nose. Using the outer edge of the black sponge, I'm gonna use that fine side and mark down her, her nose contour. 
I'm gonna focus that down the center of her nose. Make sure you get it even. You don't wanna give Cricut nose. So moving on, I'm gonna be using a different shade of Guerlain. This one is number four. I'm gonna use a darker powder to set the portions where I contoured. So I'm gonna get this 137 brush by MAC and I'm just gonna lightly dust it on to the contoured areas. Cheekbones, jawline. And a little bit on the forehead, almost as a bronzer. Next, I'm gonna do a little contouring highlight with Morphe palette that looks like this. And with the same brush I did the darker setting with, I'm gonna be using the color Donut. And go over one more time the contour parts. So now using this Morphe 456 brush, it's very small, it's actually an eyeshadow brush, but it's a perfect nose contour brush. We're gonna use this shade Donut from the Morphe palette. And we're gonna start snatching up the nose a little bit more. Ta-da, you got a nose job. Te hice la nariz sin cirugía. Using the same palette by Makeup Forever I used earlier, I'm gonna get this synthetic brush, dip it in the darker color because we are doing a deeper, darker, smoky look. See that? And we're gonna put a little bit on her lids just so the product has something to grasp onto. Primers are obviously always awesome. In this case, we're just using a little bit of concealer as a grip. Now using a little bit of the Guerlain Translucent Powder with this Morphe 451 brush, I'm gonna dust a little bit of this powder onto the concealer and just kind of pat it in. All right, and the eyeshadow palette I chose today is this tiny one by NARS. I love NARS shadows so much. It's one of my favorite. Um, and this one is called Copper. I find that my mom looks best with browns and deep tones and reddish tones. Using this NARS Copper palette, we're gonna get into this shade called Ocean Drive, and it's kind of a peachy tone, and it's really, really pretty. With this Morphe 511 brush, I always like to dip it and get rid of some on my hand. And this is gonna be our transition color. So we're gonna to wanna to do this all over the lid. Yeah. I'm starting in the full lid. And kind of just working it into her brow, into the outer corners. And since we did a little bit of sculpting with the highlight, you could see right there where it should go. So you have a guideline right there. Using this Morphe 506 brush, I'm gonna go into the lightest color in the palette, which is called Ball Harbor. And then I'm gonna focus this on the inner corners of her eye. Everybody know? And it's pretty mad, but it's just adding like a little bit of a highlight without being super sparkly. I definitely like uh, matte shades for hooded eyes. All right, before I move into the next step, I'm gonna take some of that little baking powder and the little sponge, and I'm just gonna define my mom's under contour 
Just while we finish, we let that kind of sit in. So what I'm doing next for this smoky eye, I'm taking this uh, Huda Beauty brush. It's actually a little sponge. I'm, these are very old school, but I love them for some reason. It's just fast, easy, and it gets to the point without making a big mess. All right, I'm gonna use the darkest shade on this palette with this little Huda sponge. See that? And I'm gonna just apply straight into my mom's lid. And I'm applying this shade all the way up to her crease. And I'm gonna follow the guideline we've already built out here and extend it out there. There's been so many. Um, but una, una de las que me gustó más fue cuando fui, fuiste conmigo a los premios. But she came with me because I was nominated for a Hollywood Beauty Award. Um, and she looked really good and I actually loved her makeup that day. Está bonito ese día. All right, going back with my 511 brush, I'm gonna blend the dark shade into the transition shade. All right, with that same little tiny sponge, I'm gonna go under the eye, arriba, and start defining under the eye. And connecting the bottom with the top. What I love about these brushes is, or these sponges, is they're just so sharp at the end, you can really get in right where you, where you need to. ¿Sientes la transformación? Sí, paso a paso. Using the 506 brush we used earlier for the inner corner, I'm going to use it and just blend and diffuse the under eye. So next we're going to be using Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in the color 02 Semi Sweet. I really love these pencils. I really love the payoff that it has and how easy it is to blend. So I'm gonna focus this just on the lash line and extend it out almost like a wing liner. And with this Morphe 431, I'm just gonna diffuse it into the shadow. I'm only doing this on the outer corners because I wanna keep the inner corners of her eyes open and extend it out like a cat, a cat liner look. So look kind of like that. Using the same pencil, I'm gonna go in in the waterline over here. And I just love using browns. I think browns are so much softer, especially when doing a smoky eye on someone like your mom. So with my milk brush, uh, this one is uh, the part of the Sephora collection they came out with. I'm just gonna dust away any excess powder that we have under the eye. This is gonna help your makeup stay on all day, maybe until tomorrow. So we've dusted that, but we're gonna let this chill for a minute and the nose contour chill right until the very end. You guys already know, I love me my L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black. It's my favorite one. My mom has great lashes actually, so I'm just gonna have her chin up. I'm gonna go straight in little wiggle motions back and forth back and forth straight from the root 
using my thumb as always you guys may have seen this in my other videos but I use my thumb as a protector and we're doing one coat of mascara then we're gonna do some falsies and a second coat of mascara wiggle wiggle <laughs> All right, now that we've let the mascara sit in and dry out just a little bit, we're gonna be using our Dow's 233 Studio FX Lashes. I love these lashes. They're pretty natural, actually. It's just the right amount of drama that you need for a smoky look. You don't want it to overpower the rest of your work. Now we're doing one last coat of mascara to combine the false lash with her real lash. All right, for blush, we're gonna be using Laura Mercier and Peach. Looks like this, beautiful color, and it almost has a little bit of gold reflex in it, so I really like it. Using one of my favorite brushes by My Kid Co. and the number 0.5. I'm just gonna apply it straight to the apples of her cheeks on the higher parts. It has a really pretty gold highlight in it. Nose, just to tie it all in. And then now with this hourglass, this is like uh, two brushes in one, but they're so fluffy and the, it doesn't have a name, but I love it. I'm just gonna dust away the baking we've done under the cheekbones. Just dust it off. If it's settled uh, long enough, you should have no problem getting rid of it. Hasta estaba soñando que me, que me, te dije, me tienes tres, tres tequilas listos. She's wishful thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of the nose bake with this little Mica Code 1.19 brush. Just softly get rid of it. So moving into lips, we're using Kevin O'Quan's Unforgettable Lip Definer, and this color is called Divine. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, we're obviously doing a nude lip to go with this whole vibe that we got going on. Okay, so due to my mom's request, we're not gonna do a nude lip and we're gonna do a red lip instead. It's Mother's Day, right? You gotta make your mom happy. All right, since we've changed it up to a red lip and we're gonna do something bold, we're gonna be using this Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the number two. And it's kind of like a really beautiful, it's called true red. And I would say, yes, it, it is a very true red. So you guys know the drill. We're gonna start shaping her lips and draw our guideline down the cupid's bow to the center of the lip. Now we're going in for the actual lip color, which is Milani Matte Satin in the color 10. And it's a really beautiful true red as well. It's gonna go straight to the center. I'm gonna go in with a synthetic brush that looks like this. And while it's still a little wet, just kind of blend both colors together, the liner and the matte lipstick. You guys, look at my, what my mom has on her phone. It's a little picture of me when I was in fourth grade. All right guys, so I'm just refining a little bit more of the lip, making sure it's all even. And I think we're done. 
This is how you get a Mother's Day brown smoky realness with a pop of red lip due to your mom's request. <laughs> All right, let's show my mom in the mirror then. ¿Qué piensas? ¿Te gusta? Sí. Sí, sí me gusta. ¿Te gusta el rojo? Me gustan los colores fuertes. All right, guys, well, that is it for our Mother's Day makeover look with my mom. Um, love doing this smoky brown look. This is one of my favorite looks to do on her. And I think she enjoys anything I do, so she's cool with it. I did like that we went for a red lip instead of our usual nude. Well, my usual nude, because that's what I like. So listen to your mom, I guess. But yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please leave me a comment below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so thank god my mom has been my quarantine partner throughout these last seven weeks so i'm able to do this with her um i hope you guys are all staying home i hope you guys are all safe and i hope that we get through this as soon as possible so we could get back to our regular scheduling i hope you guys all have an amazing mother's day from me and my mom i know we'll be celebrating on this sunday uh but yeah be safe out there and i'll see you guys soon